Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to make a vegan pastry puff dough, and then I'm gonna turn that vegan pastry puff dough into a custard puff pastry. So stick around until the end of this video to see how it all came out, and if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So let's get started. So for my vegan pastry dough, I'm first going to start by shredding my frozen stick of butter onto my plate. And once I'm done shredding, I will return my butter to the freezer. For my dough, I will start by adding two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of butter, and then I will slowly start adding my half cup of water And I will mix the rest using my hands. Plus one more tablespoon of water. And now using my hands, I will knead my dough for about four minutes until it's soft. And I just want to give a shout out to the YouTube channel from the comfort of my bowl. I did find this recipe for this vegan pastry dough on her page. So make sure you check out her channel, check out her videos. And I'm just going to form my dough into a ball and I will place it in a bowl and the fridge for about 15 minutes so I can start rolling. Okay, so as best as I can, I'm going to roll my dough into a re rectangle. I don't even know what a rectangle looks like. Uh, oh yes, okay. A long square. <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'm going to add my frozen butter to part of my dough. And you don't want to add all your butter because you're still going to need some for the other side. And I'm going to fold this like this, this one like this. And now I'm going to continue to roll my dough with my butter. And I will add the rest of my butter to my dough. And I will fold this one more time. And I will seal my edges. And I'm just going to put this back into my bowl and let it sit overnight. I'm going to roll out my pastry puff dough a few more times to create some more layers. And I'm going to fold it and basically do the same thing. Roll it out again. And you can roll it out as many times as your dough will allow you to. We're basically rolling it out. So when we bake it, you get that flaky, traditional pastry puff flakiness. And you've seen my slicer. I'm going to just cut it so it's so it has straight lines. And I'm just gonna cut it into my layers for my custard pastry puff. 
So I'm now that it's on my cookie sheet, I'm gonna poke holes. And I'm going to bake this for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And my pastry puff dough is ready. It's done, as you can see. Looks really nice golden brown, looks flaky. And I'm just gonna let this cool before I add my custard. And for my custard, I'm going to start by adding one cup of plant-based milk to my pot, one cup of full-fat coconut milk, half a cup of maple syrup, four tablespoons of cornstarch, and I'm just going to whisk this until it thickens. And as you can see, it's starting to thicken. And now I'm going to add three teaspoons of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of turmeric just for color. And there you have it, my custard. Okay, so now I'm going to start assembling my custard puff pastry. And I'm going to start by adding some Smucker strawberry jam to the bottom as my first layer. And I'm also going to add some fresh strawberries. And now I'm going to add my custard. I'm going to add my second layer of my pastry puff. And then my last layer. And there it is. It's a little messy, but I'm sure it's going to be really good. I'm going to refrigerate it for about an hour just so it can set. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. Okay, so let's cut into it. Notice how flaky my pastry puff dough is. And there you have it, my vegan pastry dough with a vegan custard.